Hey what's up everybody Rajat here from World of VFX welcome back to my channel and this is a live face cam video tutorial and in this video you guys will learn how you can create some this kind of indoor cinematic lighting inside of Unreal Engine 5.6 and I hope you guys are doing absolutely fine so let's learn together let's get started all right this is Unreal Engine 5.6 and I just have downloaded this map from Epic Games marketplace in fact right now it's called Fav so it's 100% free this is a salon uh, map which which I can download uh, and you also can download so okay so first of all we don't need any lights we are going to recreate the entire lighting in a, some dramatic cinematic way so for that reason we just need to turn off and delete all the previous lights so if you just turn off you this is the light so, so select and you can edit and you can delete also you can hide the lights as well but as of now I'm just press delete so as you can see when I delete everything this looks completely black but there's an outdoor light came from here so yeah first of all we just need to turn off all the models I'm just going to turn on only this one so I'm just going to isolate this so right now I have isolated everything and, and as you can see we don't have anything in our scene but we have so for that we just need to go to lit and change it to unlit and now you can see the model right over here now as I mentioned there is no light nothing is here only the model so now we are going to relight the entire sequence but for this we need two multi views so for that we are going to go to this windows viewport and let's click this viewport number three so this is another viewport simply click drag and just snap it right over here so now we have two views so we have a multi view setup so here also you can go and click this unlit option so you can find something like this so now we are going to set the camera first because everything will visible right from the camera so let's say this will be our camera view and now go to perspective and create camera and then cine camera actor and now we have created the camera in the same view so click here perspective and jump into cine camera actor so this is our camera default camera setup is done now you can just change it to lit now once you uh, add any lights you can see it here so for that reason we are going to click this windows and uh, we are going to add some basic lights so i'm going to use environment light and mixer and just simply press create light directional light sky atmosphere volumetric cloud and hide fog so now these are the, all the basic light setup you can use it anywhere but make sure going down just turn on this volumetric fog okay now close it and as you can see we have a default light setup right in front of you but the light is coming from a different direction because if you just rotate the camera this side is completely open so that's why this light is coming right from the background so but we don't need that we need the light should come from the windows so what you can do you can simply press ctrl and l on your keyboard and you can just rotate the light so that it will only come right from this window but now for the safe side you can add a mesh to cover the wall so that no lights are coming from the background but i'm just leaving it like that only so yeah this is my camera angle so what i'm going to do i'm going to add some lights in it and i'm going to do some dramatic lighting so that this looks seen more realistic so first of all if you just go to this directional light if you increase the intensity to let's say 50 you can suddenly see a dramatic changes in your scene because just only the volumetric fog can create a lot of things but if you just turn on only the directional light it will not help you a lot so for that reason what I'm going to do just reset the intensity you can find going down indirect light intensity what exactly this mean is when the light hit anywhere like see the light is hitting my face but the entire room is also illuminating that's called indirect light so one is the direct light and the secondary light is called indirect light or you can call this as a bounce light so if you increase this indirect light to so let's say 50 you can suddenly see this looks more real because there is a hard sunlight coming right from the background so that it can illuminate the entire indoor scene because the indoors also a little bit of reflective material so if you increase it more let's say 50 you can see the scenes looks more dramatic so for that I'm just clicking to 15 and you can find another option called volumetric scattering intensity this can create some volumetric effect in your scene so if you increase it you can only see the volumetric effect are going to increase for only the directional light yes 
now in the light setup you need to do some very basic settings change so first of all click here and type ray and you can find this option to cast shadow ray traced just change it to enable and this can create a major difference in your previous output and the current output because now the light can support this ray tracing now before that you just need to go to this edit panel and just go to this project settings and here you need to type again ray tracing and just turn on all the options and you need to just restart your unreal engine and now you are good to go for ray tracing support also if you find some noisy patterns in your shadows just simply type samples in your lights and make sure just change it to samples per pixel should 16 or 32 make sure increasing the number can slower the render okay so just close this so now we have a very good amount of hard light but this is not enough so i'm going to add some another light called rec light so just click here and go to light and i'm just going to use a rec light now rec light is basically a rectangular light so what exactly it will do it can eliminate some another harsh light from the background so just click here and i'm just rotate the light to somewhere 90 degree and now we are going to increase the shape of the light by the way whatever i'm doing here you can see the direct output on the right side so i'm just increasing the width and a little bit of the height okay cool and now just simply i'm just pushing it back from the view and i'm just rotating it in some different direction and let's place it somewhere here so that it can also create a light from the outside now we have a dedicated sun but this light can also create some different effect now let's increase the intensity so let's say 5000 and now just look at this the scenes is completely changed but we just need to rotate the directional light to somewhere in different direction because we don't want any hard light coming from the background yes we want some illumination but not any hard light so this rec light can do this kind of thing so if you just turn this off this was my previous scene and this is my current scene now if you notice the light intensity only hit right over here so what i'm going to do i'm going to increase the radius so if you just increase the radius you can see these lights are increasing so now if you notice this light is too much so i need to control the light so for the controlling i am going to use another option called post process volume so just go to this visual effects and you can find this option called post process volume and this is uh, insane so first you need to type infinite and just turn this on infinite bound so that it will affect infinite area now going down you can find this called exposure just turn this three on and now if you decrease the exposure it can control the universal exposure right from here so just change it to let's say 0 0.6 or let's say 0 0.7 yep this looks cool and if you want to lock the exposure you can simply turn this both option on but i am just leaving it like this only now going up you can find this option called bloom so if you want some dreamy moody effect you can simply turn this both on and suddenly you can see some dramatic changes in your scene now going down you can find some option called color grading so here you can find color grading palette and in the global section just go to this gamma and if you want some bluish tint in your scene simply just going down here and you can suddenly see some greenish and bluish uh, content or tint in your scene just like this so it's getting entire scene in a complete cinematic output so just turn this off and turn this on just look at the differences and now if you notice this noisy patterns simply click here on the rec light and again go to ray and just make sure turn this enable and in the samples pixel just shake it to 16 and suddenly if you notice all the noisy patterns are gone now i'm just click this rec light and i'm just change the rec light color little warm tone slightly very subtle amount so that it can create some yellow tint also in the blue and greenish tint so just push it little here and if i'll just uh, move the camera slightly so that it can focus on specific area and this looks actually good now i'm going to add some physical lights not like physical lights like a normal point lights and all so that the scene looks more real so for example this one i'm going to use one light so simply click here and so now what exactly point light do it can actually kind of some of a bulb so that it can illuminate some specific area so just reposition the bulb here so this looks a point light and let's reposition this so that it will create the light and if you notice here it's actually creating a proper light now i'm just going to do some post process volume effects so just simply click this post process volume and simply type 
Vignette effect and just click this to on and if you just increase or decrease you can see some black gradient in the edges of the output so just increase it a little more and now it's perfect now going down you can find this color grading palette once again and here you can find this called shadow and in the shadow just increase the contrast slightly so that it can create some crisp effect okay and uh, here also you can find called midtone in the midtone click this gamma and just change it to another little greenish and the bluish tint effect so that this scenes looks more cinematic now in the camera setup i am going to do some focus changes and all so going up you can find this called focus panel so just turn this on and if you decrease it you can find out where exactly your focus is so for example i want this area should be in focus and turn this off and uh, just decrease the aperture so now this looks perfect so okay this is our cinematic scene and if you just um, you know uh, manually change the focus in a different direction so this chairs are right now in out of focus but the rest of the area is in focus but as you notice there is no grain in our scene but in the reality whatever you shoot there should be a proper grain so if you want a grain inside of unreal engine simply go to post process volume and type grain and you can find this called film grain so if you just turn this on and just change it to one you can suddenly see some grainy effect so if i'll change it to let's say two you can suddenly see some grains but trust me if you do this in post like in adobe after effects or any other software this will be more controllable because this grain is not that accurate which i personally believe but if you have any specific idea make sure comment down below but yeah for that reason i don't want to use it right over here but yes if you want you can use it so yeah, after that, what you need to do, simply click here to create a new level sequence. So we have a sequence over here. Now select the camera and just drag and drop into here. So you have camera setup done. Now let's do a very basic level of animation. Just click here and go to last frame, slightly camera, move it a little bit here and animate it here as well. So once you just play, you can see some very amazing basic scene in your Unreal Engine. Now in the post, what you can do, you can add some grains, some camera shakes, some uh, different color grading and all. But if you ask me, this is really cool. So yes, in this way, you can create some very simple light setup in your Unreal Engine. And so yes, that's it for today. I hope you learn something. And if yes, then please do comment on the comment section. Uh, see you soon in my next video. Till then, keep watching, keep rocking world of VFX. Bye.